Culture, they say, is a way of life of a people. Being part of Imoaka Festival 2017, but rest this statement because all that took place can only be seen in the life of an Oka man or woman. Oka people are the type that do not blink an eyelid in pursuance of that which they believe in. An average Oka person lives a transparent life, evident in the activities heralding the Imoaka Festival. Talking about Imoaka, what is it all about? According to history, Imoka is a special deity venerated by every Onyoka in appreciation to what monkeys did for them in the olden days when a particular tribe was in the habit of challenging them to war when they least expected. The history has it that in the olden days, Oka people and the said community were in constant disagreements that degenerated into war and in seeking extraordinary power to win the battle, Oka people invited a strong native doctor from Obwoto community in Egala known as Nwokwoto, which they eventually won. By that time, the deity brought by Nwokwoto was venerated with squirrels, but was stopped at some point owing to the fact that squirrels, being a special animal to Oka people, resorted to eating the yams in their farmlands. In order not to starve the deity, Ndioka had always have respect for monkeys, for helping them out during a war some time ago, decided to use monkeys to venerate Imoka. That is why Oka indigenous don't eat a particular species of monkey. Back to Imoka Festival 2017. It is a one month festival that signals the beginning of farming season for Ndioka, who combined farming and blacksmith to earn a living. The festival gets to its peak with a one week long activities. Beginning with a visit to Umuogu, the first son of Oka, who settled after Amobia town towards Norfia community. Youths of Oka, girls and boys alike, as well as masquerades of various sizes and colors, filed out with their traditional cane called Anyachu or Abwa. They set out to pay homage to Olulumuogu, a very interesting adventure for non-indigenous. On arrival, they were received with tapioca, otherwise known as abumili with coconut, a symbol of hearty welcome from the Umuobu village. By the way, Oka is made up of 33 villages, so what it meant was that 32 of the 33 villages embarked on the visit to Umuobu. At Umuobu, I met an elder who explained what the visit and festival is all about. Uh, the President General Oka Development Union Chief Anthony Okechuku was on ground to throw more light. It, um, it is a festival that um, we give thanks to God, we pray to God that you give us a good harvest. Away from the visit to Umo Boka, another significant day in the celebration is the Opueke Day, that is the main Imoka Day. On this day, women who believe in culture and tradition gather from within Oka and the environs to pay homage and appreciate the Imoaka deity for guidance and protection all year round, each with their traditional music and gift items genuflected before Imoaka. <laughs>
Also on Upweke Day, men gather to accord support to the women and sometimes utilize the opportunity to pay their own homage. No wonder the Oluli Mwaka witnessed presence of various types of livestock and other gift items. <laughs> I Mwaka has a special music called Egui Mwaka. With that, the Opweke Day ends. Now the climax of the festival, which normally happens on Sunday. It is on this day that all masquerades go to market. That is Nkwameni, the abode of Imoka, which is called Ololo. On
this day, a special recipe is prepared known as avolo, prepared with yam and bitter leaf. Various joints along the Zix Avenue normally record heavy activities with people giving themselves treats with live music for entertainment. <laughs>
Many illustrious sons and daughters of the community took turn to express their feelings. Uh, this is uh, Many families paid homage to Imoka deity. The There are other side attractions like when the youths engage themselves in Ipiawa.
Dan di